Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you how to make a Hypixel Bedwars Fireball in vanilla Minecraft. So as you can see, if I shoot this fireball, it will it will shoot and explode whatever it touches. So basically this was made by a couple of commands and it's too many to do a step-by-step -step tutorial, so I'm going to be just going through each command. I'll have the command on screen. It will be in the video description, so you can copy and paste it. And so let's get started. So what you're going to want to do, and you can pause the video if necessary, is to type these four commands that are on screen. So these commands are basically the variables that are going to be ran by these command blocks. And it's what allow these command blocks to run. So it's pretty important. The first command chain we have here is going to detect if the player is holding a fireball. So basically what it's doing is this command here is going to give the player a right click tag if the player is holding a fireball. And if they're not holding a fireball, then it will remove the tag. So the next command is going to set up the villager, which is going to detect right clicking. So this is similar to the last tutorial I had on how to detect right clicking with any item, except for this one is multiplayer compatible. So basically the command chain starts with the um the player getting a tag and next what what's going to happen is the villager gets summoned on the second command on the third command it will join a team which will cause it to not collide with other entities so basically won't push the player around but the player can still detect if it clicks it. So we're going to make the villager face the player. That way it can find where the player is. And we're going to make it invisible. And then we're going to remove the tags we used. So this third chain right here will detect if the player um, clicks the villager. So what it's doing is first we're going to teleport the villager to the player. So basically the villager will always be in front of the player and the player will be able to click it. And we will kill the villager if it's too far away and we'll summon a new one. So this next command will detect if the player clicks it. So we'll find if our right click scoreboard is greater than zero. If it is, we'll give the player another tag. If it's not, we'll remove that tag and we'll reset the scoreboard. So the fifth command is going to summon and move the fireball. So this is actually not as complicated as it looks, even though the command chain is kind of long. So what it's doing first is, well, first it's summoning the fireball. Then it will find the player's position, the fireball's position, and then subtract those. And this is basically finding where the fireball should be facing in order to face the way the player is facing. And then what these three commands here are doing is they're basically uh, assigning the fireball's motion data tag, which will make it move. And we're also going to summon a marker where the fireball is so that it can check if the fireball crashes. And we're going to remove the tags to clean up the commands. And this 
command chain will basically teleport the marker to the fireball and check if it lands. So on the first command block we're teleporting it and the second command block we're removing the marker and exploding the fireball. So these are the commands that were used in, to make the fireball. As you can see, it's actually pretty simple, even though it looks complicated. So I just want to point out that this command is fully multiplayer compatible. So as you can see, I've added my alt account to my server. And currently I'm on my main account. And if I throw this fireball, it works as normal. As you can see, I'm now on my alt account. And if I throw that same fireball, it also works. That's all for today's video. As always, if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.